it's just like um, any percent, basically. Uh, we cannot go for enchantment at the, at the beginning. I mean, I can technically do it. I don't know if I want to. Like, I feel I'm gonna lose time if I do it. Because I, I won't have it assigned it. I have to do it manually. So I probably won't do it. Fuck. Not yet. No. So probably no enchantment on the button. But I can use all the other new technology. <coughs> like cutscenes. Uh, chakrams stuff. A lot of optimizations. I do remember to recovery on the barrier or the Ram Dao cutscene. I'm still kind of not used to that. And I, I even need to implement that for any percent. Been better. So something very curious about this chapter, you know, when you go into a faith, like when you choose a color, that determines the color of all the bone tips in the game that you're going to have. Except for one, there's one bone thief that doesn't uh, follow that rule, and it's that guy over there with the with the sword. That guy is a, is a bone thief that wakes up if you retrieve the the sword, and if you kill it, it's always gonna be a Chaturga bone thief, no matter your faith. And it's the only exception, you know, like all the others. They get the color of your uh, the alignment you choose. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Alright. Oh, I didn't. Okay. I can still do. I can still do it. One more cutscene to try to recover. This isn't really happening. Just here when we're going to see this. I failed it, whatever. I gotta recover early though. Uh, that was a mistake actually. <laughs> I shouldn't recover right there because you cannot interact with things until the recovery effect is it's gone, so that was kind of a mistake. I can actually set up this beforehand, I think. Oh no, no, actually no, because this is a single episode. You can do that for segment. But I don't really care about segmented. Forgot this. On that second pause, you want to equip the Ram Dao. Really? Okay, whatever. 
Uh, everything was bad there. <laughs> anyway. I don't have to assign them. That's a good thing. Because we're not going to play any more anything else than this chapter. So I can just cast it. not here then you know that you have a, a sunny effect that's like a, a good cue to know if you are on a sunny effect Hell is pretty low, so I kind of need to kill everything here. And I, 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 I mean, I need to go for all strats, kind of. I still lose a lot of time, by the way. I mean, not that much, but it can be better. What happened to you? Things change, my dear Karim. But even though my body is ravaged, I await you. Who did this to you? You were gone so long. I, I gave myself to a nobleman with a jealous mistress. She had me dragged from my bed, and in cruel revenge, lensed with knives. As the last blades were drawn across my body, and my blood pooled upon the floor, she cursed that I would only be the number of death. So much for thinking of me. You should never have left. I have seen my folly, and have already paid dearly. I see so much more now, in death. I know the true value of the artifact which I asked you to find, and it is not for us to possess. If we are to be together again, you must make a sacrifice. Only when that is complete will we be together. Sacrifice? Why should I do anything for you? You lied to me. Betrayed me. You really don't look so good anymore. You must forget the past. Despite who you are now, you will also become something more, just as I am. But the sacrifice must be made. We must remain here and guard the artifact. 
Dark things will come to claim it, and you must be strong to keep it from them. Without your sacrifice, the world will fall into eternal darkness. The things I do for love. Kareem.